Hello, rock stars. It's good to see everybody tonight. Welcome to Tech Heart. Dude, I wanted to talk to y'all about a couple things that I like. I like Nix OS, and I was reading a blog earlier today. It's called How I Make a Living Working on Serenity OS. What is Serenity OS? Well, we'll get there in a moment, but let's hear this open source creator and how he's been able now to do this as his entire day job. Um, hello, my name is Andreas Kling and I'm the founder of Serenity OS Project. If you're not familiar, Serenity OS is from a scratch operating system that I started built in 2018. It combines a Unix-like core with the look and feel of a 1990s operating system. It began as a one-man project, but it has since blossomed into a lively open source community with hundreds of amazing devs. Um, so anyway guys, Serenity OS is a retro type operating system. It's Unix-like. Um, I believe it has its own kernel and it's its own thing, um, but it does run on top of QEMU. You can run it on top of uh, Ubuntu server systems, um, Arch Linux, uh, Arc Linux, many different Linux distros. Um, it runs on top on a QEMU uh, layer, but we're gonna run this sucker on NixOS. If you don't know what NixOS is, go check out a couple of my other videos as um, I've covered it before, but it's a really neat type of Linux that is all set up from a configuration file. At any rate, let's read a little bit more about Andreas. Um, he started in 2018 on this open source project called Serenity OS. It gained steam, people were into it, um, people like their Windows 2000, Windows 95 looking OS's, and um, he created one. I'm not going to read this entire text, or it's a blog post. Uh, you can read it over at awesomecling.github.io. Um, however, it goes on to show us how he currently is, is bringing in around $4,000 to $5,000 a month um, on this open source project. $2,100 from GitHub, $1,400 from Patreon, $300 a month from YouTube, he sells merch. Um, one neat thing that, that I like about this is he talks about a couple of venture capital investments that came his way and he turned them down. It doesn't go with his open source feel and uh, that impresses me. He got himself an accountant and while he's not rich guys, he's bringing in about four, uh, 4200 4500 a month and he's, he's living off this. And isn't that great? And that's why we should support um, projects that we love. Let's go on and read a little bit about Serenity. <clears throat> Serenity OS is a graphical Unix-like operating system for desktop computers. It's a love letter to 90s user interfaces with a custom Unix-like core and it flatters with sincerity by stealing beautiful ideas from various other systems. Roughly speaking, the goal is a marriage between the aesthetic of late 1990s productivity software and the power user accessibilities of the late 2000s Nix. Oh. This is a system by us, for us, based on things we like. Let's go. We can hop over to the GitHub page and um, you can see commits from four days, two days, uh, 13 days. This thing is active. It goes on to show us a little bit about Serenity OS. Oh my Lord. Let's pull this window open, guys. You have to see this. Holy goodness gracious. I think that I can get behind this. Um, it has that Windows 2000 feel. Hello, I like ya. Um, wow. So, you have your Linux, you have your QEMU, which um, uh, runs virtualized systems, and on top of that, we're gonna have our Serenity OS. I will give you a little caveat. My Nix OS install is a GUI setup. Um, for people not in the know, that means it's Windows-like, Mac OS-like, you know, it has graphics behind it. However, for performance, we could spin up um, a Nix OS uh, completely from the command line and run QEMU a lot closer to the metal, but we're not going to do that today. Um, we're just going to use what I have. Let me bring this back over. Bada bing, baby. All right, all right, all right. Trying to get you close. Um, so that's Serenity OS. Uh, 
a, a couple features real quick. It's a modern x86 32-bit and 64-bit kernel, so it does have its own kernel. Um, there's a browser with Java Kit, WebAssembly, and more. Uh, security features, hardware protections, user land capabilities, WX memory, blah, blah. Uh, it has a Windows server, a login server, an audio server, a web server, request server, crash server, and modern IPC. It has good POSIX compatibility. Cool, cool. We won't be lost. If you know a little bit of Linux, you'll be able to play around here. It has a network stack and applications with IPv4, TCP, UDP, DNS, HTTP, Gemini, bada bing, IMAP, and NTP support. Um, it has libraries for everything from crypto from cryptography to OpenGL, Wing, audio, JavaScript, GUI, and playing chess. All right. Um, it has all sorts of visual support and video support, unified styling, design philosophy, games, and every G GUI programs. This is just a project he's working on. The guy loves uh, the 90s era, and so do we. All right. We're going to go on to building Serenity OS. You can build it on top of Debian or Ubuntu. Debian or Ubuntu. You do have to have GCC 12 um, and G++ 12. You need QEMU 6.2 or later. And by the way, I'll have a little, uh, uh, little treat for you after we get this sucker installed. You can load it on Windows. Um, however, we need to find the, uh, on the other page installing build requisites on other systems. Now, if you look at all these other systems, you know, you have to install a host of different packages that it needs on, on any of the platforms that you might build. NixOS is unique. Let's go ahead and spin up uh, NixOS over here. Maybe we'll get rid of this. Put that up there. Woo, there it goes, pretty. Let's uh, find my... Boom, there's Nick, oh, this is Nick, so, hey, hold on now, hey, hey now, hey now. <laughs> this is my Nix OS uh, VM. Let's jump in there. Mm. Okay, now, I've already built Serenity, and uh, actually I've, I've built some other packages into it, some other ports. Um, but I do want to show you what the setup looks like. So, uh... I will have to jump back to the to the first build part. Let's pretend. Ba, 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 ba. I just want to show you how it would be built. So I'm going to go into my downloads folder. I'm going to git clone um, https github.com serenity os backslash. Oh, I don't know what I need to. Uh, hang on a minute. I have to find the actual thing here. Uh, Serenity.git. Okay, that's fine. Let me go back here. Okay, so I'm going to git clone Serenity. It's cloning into Serenity. And uh, we'll let that happen. <clears throat> oh, boom, boom, boom. Oh, I want to show you guys another thing. Let me show you this. Um, does everybody see what's on the, uh, the screen back here? This is ANSI art. And this is a new release by Impure. That's the group, the Anti Art group. Um, this is Impure 83. This is put out by a YouTube um, channel called Anti Videos, which is cool. He packages up different Anti packs and uh, puts them on YouTube. However, you should go check out the real groups, Impure, and this is pack 83. You can find uh, uh, an archive of Anti Art from the 90s at www.16colors, 16colo.rs, and you should go find it. It's awesome. Check out Blocktronics, check out Impure, um, uh, check it all out. There's a lot of folks that are still creating anti art from Mystagris, um, from Lazarus, from many groups, and 16colors has an archive of everything from the beginning. Let's go back over to our uh, desktop here. Serenity's done. Let's move into Serenity. This is how you would normally build Serenity OS. We would run meta, that's a directory, the Serenity script, and run. Oops, and run, okay? Okay, actually, I forgot. I'm sorry, I'm on NixOS. It said that I needed GCC version 12. And the reason for that is I need to 
uh, create a Nix shell environment. Instead of like a package manager, Nix OS uh, has environments that you can create, or shells, Nix shells. Um, and now we are in a Nix shell with the Serenity tool chain loaded. So now we can uh, run. I have to bounce around and look, guys. I don't remember all this from my brains. Now we can run Meta Serenity Run. And what would normally happen, if you pay attention over here, Serenity is going to start pulling um, different stuff that it needs. And in a moment, you're going to see it start to build itself. And when it does, it has like 5,000 different things to build. But we don't need to watch all that because I already have it built. But I just wanted to give you a flavor of what you would need to do on your system to get Serenity uh, going and installed. Um, oops, I'm sorry. You know, I don't have a cursor. Ah, darn it. I don't have a cursor on this VM. <laughs> There we go, and I can't find it to get my local cursor. Come on, baby. Ah, don't mess me up. I need to get a local cursor. That's all I want. <laughs> Here we go. We get a local cursor. I don't know why the heck it wasn't uh, showing one at any rate. Hmm. Uh, so anyway, this is building. I guess I don't even have to show you this part, but um, in a moment, in about a minute or two, it would start building the different pieces and there's 5,000 of them. I suppose for time we can just kill it now. What do y'all think? <sighs> yeah, let's go. Boom. Okay, so I'm gonna remove, let me do a sudo so it doesn't tell me nothing. I'm gonna remove that because we've already got ours built. Now I need to exit out of this Nick shell and we are gonna go we're going to go to our real Serenity uh, 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 directory. Sorry, got to think, probably all. So we'll run a new Nix shell from toolchain serenity.nix. Boom! Now that's going to load up the Nix OS shell that we need in order to run Serenity. Now we can run the Serenity script run. And Well, it didn't work. Let me see something here. Hmm. Okay, it's always fun working on the fly, baby girl. Let's, uh, so over here on the NixOS, ba ba ba. No, I've already ran this, so I don't understand. Let me see here. You know, there is one thing. Thing. Let me move Serenity to downloads. That's where it was before. I don't think that's it. But uh, we're in the Nick shell. Let's try this again. It's going to fail. Let's try this again. Okay. It, it didn't... I had moved it out of my downloads directory to show you guys how it built. And it didn't like that. <laughs> it already knew. So this is Serenity booting. It's going to use QEMU in a moment, but um, it's mounting the file system, installing the base system. Oh, I wanted to show you guys another thing. We'll get there. Uh-oh! We're in Serenity! If you guys know what that's from, let me know. You got one of these? I do. <laughs> As stated earlier, uh, I guess I don't need that local cursor because I'm a ding ding. As stated earlier, um, you know, we're running on top of this NixOS GUI, and that's really not the best. I've given this um, uh, VM about 16 gigabytes of RAM, and I've given it four cores. So that's cool. But you could run this on a lot lighter um, system when you have to be a VM. And if you have it on a, a very uh, vanilla or basic Linux, Linux distribution, it'll run a lot quicker. However, we are now inside of Serenity OS. Now, just remember, you're looking at a Mac, oh, uh, you know, an iMac, a Mac OS system, <laughs> uh, logged in through Proxmox, which is my server's VM software, uh, and on that Proxmox, 
I have Nyx West. And then we got QM on top. If we uh, poke around in here, we can see that we can LS. Um, we can use normal Linux. Let me see if I can get that bigger for you guys. Uh, no, I don't know how. I hope this is large enough. What I can do, let me see here. I can at least make this window a lot larger for you. Does that do anything for us? You guys like it? You guys like it? Come on, come on. There we go. We can get this window a little bigger. We can't. What do I need local scaling on? Come on, let's get through the video, Paul. Last try, guys. Just trying to make it bigger for everybody, but I don't know that I'm going to get there. Okay. So, at any rate, this is Serenity. I can't make this bigger either. Yeah, that was a, an overthought. Um, let's run through it for a little bit. It looks very Windows 2000-esque. We can move our terminal over here. If we go down in to Serenity, what do we got? Let's see about Serenity OS. Let's just check her out. Baby. Serenity OS version 1.0, Dev Revision 63122, 2018 to 2022. Um, there's some demos in here. Uh, cat dog, I think cat dog, we gotta run cat dog. I don't know what that cat dog is, but let's see. Oh, there's a cat. There's a cat on my desktop. The cat is chasing my cursor. Get over here, cat. Meow. <laughs> what if I click him? Come here. Meow. Oh, she sits, okay. Nope, she chases me. So I got a cat that chases my dang cursor around. Nothing happens if I click. What if I put her in a box? Uh-oh. Oh, she's just gonna keep chasing me around over here, eating up my CPU. You dirty pussy. <laughs> All right. What else we got? Um, inside of demos, we got fire. Ooh, I like fire. Boom! Well, I don't see no fire. Brazinga! Brazinga! Oi, oi, oi! It's going a little slow. But darn, that's a C matrix. Type dilly dilly. One thing that is neat, um, and you could get at this information anyway, but about running in a GUI, is you can see all of the behind the scenes things that Serenity OS is doing. How many cycles fire is taking up. I wonder how much cat dog's taking up. All right, let's turn off our fire. It's pretty gangster. Now, um, if any of you want would want to see me install some other Serenity OS software to see what's beyond the base install, let me know in the comments, and I'd be happy to do that. There's about 10 other demos um, from Mandelbrot to Screensavers to Cube and Eyes and Fire and Cat Dog under development. Ooh, we have a hack studio and a hex editor, yeah! Uh, also an SQL studio. I don't know what hack studio is. I opened it up before, and, you know, I'm not a total noob, but I couldn't easily see what it was used for. There are games, 2048, chess, flappy bug, hearts, blah, blah, blah. Inside of graphics, uh, we got a 3D file viewer, an image viewer, a PDF viewer, and pixel paint, all right? For internet, we have a browser and mail. I'll try to fire up the browser. It was a little bit slow last time. I'm gonna keep looking at stuff well as we do. Um, in sound, we have piano and a sound player. In utilities, we have a clock, an assistant, a calculator, character map, file manager. Let's check this out. Oopsies. Come on over, baby. We'll fire up the system monitor in a minute, too. Uh, Notice the browser is still not close to being loaded. Um, our cat uh, is taking a nap, though. <laughs> wow, even on four cores, um, this thing's slowing down a little bit. No huge deal. I knew that would happen, but... Um, it's funny, the system monitor is not showing any um, usage, really. Oh, that's memory. Yeah, but this is the uh, C... No, that's memory and network. The CPU is maxed out at 100%. Okay, so maybe I should throw more cores at it or give it more CPU. Um, 
It's lagging behind, guys. Anybody interested in uh, the ANSI? We can go back and check out. Secret weapon revealed at last. Country teasers, baby! This is by IKS, he's an ANSI artist. Should have sped that up a little bit, daddy-o. All right. Oh. Did we legit have a fail? Wow. <laughs> I believe the system crashed, guys. Good thing is, it's on top of QEMU. I don't even have to wait for it. I can just uh, kick out of it, I believe. Or maybe not. What a great video, Paul. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do a power down of this machine because it looks like it's crashed. It's not responding anyway, guys. Ah, oh, lordy. Okay. I quit. Let's try to run that one more time. I really want to show you guys. Uh, maybe I will slow it down. I was getting a little too quick and loading up five things at a time. Why does it need my password this time? I'm not certain. Because it's mounting file systems. All right. Here we go. We're loading up. Boom, bang, bing. It is neat um, to see how Serenity loads up, just like Linux. This is, you know, like your boot system. It's doing the lookup servers, the network servers, the routes, the Windows server. Everything's booting up and it shows the time that it's doing it at. Uh, I apologize that I don't got more compute behind this to make it a super seamless thing for us, guys. Weak. Weak. I had a permission denied, but let's see. It should boot us in. Yeah. All right, Serenity OS! <laughs> you. Yeah. All right, let's try to show. Here, what we're gonna do, let's load up the darn activity monitor so we can see system monitor. That should be simple pimple enough, no? All right, here's our system monitor. Let's go over to performance. Man, love how Windows 2000 this feels. Even over Windows 95, I, I would say this feels a lot more like Windows 2000. I love it. I love it. And it looks it looks more polished, to be honest. So our CPU usage right now is 38%. We should be okay. Should I kill out of the terminal even? All right, goodbye. Let's try to get this darn uh, internet browser loaded, okay? And I'm not going to push the gas. <laughs> Let's just hang out, daddy you. You can see the performance going right up to 97. We got plenty of memory. This sucker is only using 100 megabits of memory, which is great. Here's our uh, web browser. Let's head over to Google and see if we got a, a network connect. You can see over here in my terminal, web sockets trying to grab things. Um, it's doing its proxy mappings and boom got certificates and web content is loading and there we go it's pretty cool how you can watch what's going on in the background I hope you guys can see it there's our Google let's go over to our trusty mystic bbs.com do you guys know what BBS's are do you know that I run 20 for beers bulletin board um, an antsy, awesome, retro thing that you should check out. I run on Mr. BBS software, and you should come on over. 20forbeers.com, port 1337, antsy telnet. Use an antsy-capable terminal like Synchronet or Netrunner. You can get Netrunner right there at mysticbbs.com. Um, I'd like to show you some other stuff. So that was the web browser. Um... We showed a couple of the demos. I would like to show that. I'm gonna show um, two quick things. I'm gonna load up the Hack Studio, which I don't really know what it to use for. I'm sure I'm, I'm gonna dig in and find out. But also they have a hex editor right in here. <laughs> How many of you DOS boys have rocked around in some hex editors before? I know I have. <laughs> what did you use to rock around in hex editors for? I used to modify with um, 
another bulletin board software from back in the day that didn't have configuration files, so you had to jump in and, and edit the hex files. Um, and I used to want to play games that I didn't own, but... Sh okay, uh, here's the Hack Studio. It looks like a file viewer here. I have my... this is my file system. Um, shows source and... it shows my file system, whereas there's some JavaScript stuff in here. There's a readme, but I don't think it's for this. I'm gonna tap and see. Uh, no, this is just a readme for Serenity OS. So, let's click the About button. What does Hack Studio tell me? about Hack Studio. It just says Hack Studio, Serenity OS version 1.0. Um, oh, okay, we can find text and files. There's a to-do, there's a console, and a debug. Okay, and a disassembler? It's probably a disassembler. Um, we can build? Okay, okay, it's a, it's a code editor. Um, I don't know what type of code it's gonna edit, but let me see, project configuration. Okay, yeah, build command, yeah, your build command here, run command. So, I bet this is how we can help develop Serenity OS and add to it. Boom, let's go load this uh, hex editor, and then I want to show you some stuff outside of here. Come on, baby, let's go, rock and roll. Uh, where did I find that bad boy at? In dev? Yeah. Here's the hex editor. Boom, boom, boom. Boom! Also, you can set background just like in Windows. I checked this out earlier. I'm gonna load that up over loading the hex editor. Uh, the display settings, let's load grid.png, stretch, find, go, bada bing, bada boom. There's themes that you can load up. I mean, it really is, listen, for Windows 2000, I think it's, it's more beautiful than that was. Uh, groove box dark. Let me see how that looks. Ooh, that looks pretty. Let's go dark. Boom, baby. All right, there we go. You can change it on up. Please don't tell me I had a crash. I did. <laughs> I had a crash demon, a core dump uh, in the hex editor. The hex editor crashed. Service desktop has exited. Service network applet has exited. Workspace picker applet has exited. <laughs> All right, let's go back. Hey, at least it has a crash reporter. Listen, this is a, a probably more about the VM that I gave this thing than the software crashing. I wouldn't hold too much on Serenity OS. I'd hold more on TechHeart. <laughs> We're not pros over here. Hey, at least the system did not totally crash. The crash reporter is trying to tell us, hold on, dude, don't quit, keep pushing close. Settle down, let me give you your report. The system did not crash. And I assume the last time that it did, I just pushed buttons too quick and if I'd have just held on a little bit, it tells us exactly what happened. Uh, lib system so died, lib C so died. Two threads died. That's okay. We're going to close out. I want to show you guys some other stuff. So, I'm going to exit the system. Power off computer. Bye bye. All right. Now, can you guys read this text over here? Maybe I can make this a little bigger for us. Boom. Over here. That's big enough, right? You guys can see that, yeah? Okay. So, inside of the Serenity Direct, uh, inside the Serenity Direct, Serenity directory, if you go to ports and uh, ls, these are all software packages, okay? Um, from curl to wget to, to, to boost and gcc and, and, and tons of stuff. For, you, there's Quake, Quake 2 and Quake 3 in here. I saw Doom earlier. So let's go into Doom, okay? So we're inside the serenity slash ports slash doom. And if we run this package.sh, boom, it's gonna build doom. And the next time we open up Serenity OS, we'll have doom. Wait, these are the doom ones. So it says down here, successfully installed doom git. Next time we load up Serenity, we will have Doom installed. Um, and there is, let's see, LSL, oops, LSL, WCL. 
There's 280 different packages in here. And from what, oh, there's Neo Fetch. I like that. Neo Fetch is kind of big though, right? How long will it take to build? Um, there's about 300 packages in there. And, and from what I've learned, I do believe that Serenity OS Project has other um, uh, developers that have more ports or more software that you can add. But, but right here with the project, you can add a whole bunch. This is fun, man. I want to get it on a system that doesn't have a big GUI behind it, or maybe I'll join the uh, Serenity Discord or go to the Serenity GitHub and see what's the best way to install this sucker. Because I know if I get it closer to metal, we can get a system that you know works a lot better. This thing is beautiful. Uh, it's awesome, and I'm super stoked that Andreas has made this his. I don't want to say career. But it is your career, Andreas, if you're ever watching it. Um, ooh, we had an error here. I'm really excited that open source brings someone uh, a career that they can live and enjoy and live their best life on. Uh, the neofetchpackage.sh failed at line 16, auto recon. I might not have, I don't have that command on my Nix system. So that's not all of its fault. Um, so the last thing, let's go back and let's do, let's load up Serenity one last time and let's see if we have Doom, okay? We installed Doom, let's see if we got it. Bada binga! What's my password, because it's gonna mount the uh, drive, the file system for QEMU. I have never used any of these ported softwares before, so I'm not positive if Doom's gonna just pop right up. Sorry about that big uh, thing behind here. Maybe I can make it smaller. Eh. Ah, I'm messing everything up, guys. I'm just trying to make it look prettier for you. Sorry about that. I do like how you can see what's happening behind the... Uh, Scenes. However, we could do that even if we weren't on a GUI type system. Serenity's popping right up. How many of you guys use Windows 2000 or Windows 95? I actually stood in line to buy Windows 95. Any other nerds? Let's see if we have Doom in here. Let's go to the games. I do not see Doom in the games. Let's look around. Maybe it threw it in somewhere else. No. Let's try from the terminal. Let's uh, just let's let's see if it has which anyway. Okay, there is in bin. There's a doom. Let's see how big that sucker is. Well, I don't know if I'm looking at the library or anything. Let's run doom and see if we can get it. I ran doom from the uh, command line. Oh, and it seemed like it failed. Let me see here. Oh. I don't have the WAD file. So you have to add your own WADs, which is completely acceptable. There's a default.cfg that you can find. We are gonna come back on a different video and check out Doom. Um, behind the scenes, I did add a curl. Oh, I'm not gonna do curl. Um, I'm not gonna do curl my IP and show you guys, but I did add curl before and curl works perfectly. I did add make and make loads right up. So so any ports that you build will work. Um, I'm gonna exit out of there, guys. And uh, that's Serenity OS. And yeah, I'm a tinker. Um, I get my kicks off little things, but I think it's a big deal when a person can uh, make a living and a career off their love. And gosh darn it, I love Serenity OS too. I hope you do. If you don't know about ANSI art, go check it out at 16 Colors, 16COLO.RS uh, on the WWDUBS. And uh, I hope you all had fun with me. I had fun with y'all.